Oh, right. Hello. Hi. Back once again. I'm just going to crack open this sweet nectar. There we go. Right. Let go. So, work's done. I'm off tonight to a gig. However, I have got enough time to squeeze in a arm session at UFIT. The gig's in Cardiff, so I'm going there to do my arm session and then I'll go straight on to the gig then, which is just in town. So, yeah. As for who I'm seeing, I think the band called Don't Try uh, at The Moon. I've never heard of the band before, but my mate Rich was like, yo, I'm going to the show. It's nine pound. And I said, yo, that sounds sick. I'm in. Because I haven't paid nine pound for a show for absolute years. So yeah, well looking forward to this. Uh, just for the fact that it's going to be a laugh. And if it's not, then it's only cost me nine pound. But yeah, today was all right. Um, looking forward to training. I'm going to try and make it as quick as I can with training. Uh, it might be a lot of supersetting or drop setting just to um, get the session done so I can get the cardio in and then get to uh, sorry just wait for the car park to get to the gym then but yeah overall should be good um seen that a few more of you are coming along on this journey as well so i appreciate you all for tuning in and checking out this channel and all that jazz look at me almost regular uploads i'm very tired i'm very tired i slept through my alarms for so long this morning um yeah it's not um it's not smart being me at times but hey ho, yeah, I, really, like, I went to bed super early. I was just lying in bed at like nine, which for me is really early. Um, fell asleep, woke up at like half three, then couldn't get back to sleep. Woke back up at half five, then woke back up at like half seven. I mean, my half five is my wake up time normally. Uh, I am not someone who is 5 a.m. club. Oh. Look at me, I'm up at, like, no, I'm up at 5 a.m. or 5.30 a.m. because it's just to, allows me to fit everything in that I need to fit in for my day. Because uh, it means with my morning then I can do everything I need in the three and a half hours I have before work. And then I can, well, three and a half hours before I have to leave for work and then I can just do my day. It's not something which I can, like, sit there and be like, I'm super cool and good because I can do all this and I'm, you know, post it all to Instagram and you should all wake up at 5.30. Don't wake up at 5.30. Don't. Stay in bed. For as long as you can. Rest. Be smart. Get up when you need to get up. Plan your morning. Make sure everything you need to do fits in. And then get up at the appropriate time. Don't think that waking up at five o'clock is some magic recipe for success. I am proof that it is not as I wake up at five. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. But yeah, arms tonight. Uh, not, I, I'm not going to say I'm not going to go heavy because every time I've said that, I've gone heavy. Um, I'm going to be sensible and listen to my body and listen to what my body wants to do. And just basically not let my ego take over. But it's going to be a quick session because I need to get some cardio done. So I didn't do any this morning. And I feel like I've let myself down for doing that. For not doing that, I should say. Um, so, yeah. That is the plan. I'm going to go in. I'm going to hit some curls. I'm going to hit some triceps. We're going to have fun. Ooh. So, I'm going to shut this off now. Just focus on getting there, getting home, well not getting home, getting home until late tonight, I've got a new Real Friends album to listen to tonight, 
got an acoustic album that's been delivered. Can't wait for that. I'll also, this morning, massive dilemma. I had a £46 charge for a UPS. Couldn't figure out what it was, but after some researching, still couldn't figure out what it was. Then realised that I had a Kickstarter project that I had backed. And that was successfully funded. And I'm pretty certain that what I am paying the import fee for is the Kickstarter project. So there's that. Now this Kickstarter project is a device called the Airback, which is a backpack, which has got a vacuum seal compartment in it, which for someone who wants to get more traveling in and do more traveling, it's gonna be perfect for fitting everything in. So yeah, overall, can't wait for it. Don't wanna pay that. Uh, price, but if there's a way around it, then great. If not, then so be it. That said, I am now shutting this off and I will see you in the gym. Oh, all right. So, with this, I've managed to actually get the audio to work properly so that the uh, black bars aren't appearing on the video, which is good. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> Like I said in the video, I haven't got much time for this session, so I wanted to make sure that I was getting in what I could for it. So I kept it really simple. When I got in and finished uh, on the elliptical, the well, the preacher kill machine was free, and I think it's a really good piece of kit. If you've got one in your gym, I fully recommend using it. It's a really versatile piece of kit for both single and double hand uh, preacher kills, but. I wanted to try and burn out with as much weight as possible to start off with, so I started with, I think it was 60 kilos, and then I dropped 10 kilos a time until I got down to 30, so that was four sets, so 60, 50, 40, 30, and then I did three sets then, or four sets then as well with a single arm, two sets of 20, two sets of 15, again, really good way of just finishing, well, finishing and starting <laughs> uh, the biceps off, but I find that Having that support under the uh, the elbow and the back of the arm as well really helps to uh, mitigate any sort of swinging. It keeps it very true. Unlike everything else that I'm doing, though, I was starting with my left hand because bicep movements I seem to be okay. Uh, I don't seem to have any problems with like the pain and the nerve issues. So yeah, keeping that the same going forward. Uh, the only so the struggle I found was, for some reason, the arm position that I'd have would mean that the see that metal bar at the bottom, uh, which sort of goes, connects the two sides together, that would touch my forearm at times, and I'm not sure as to why I couldn't figure it out. Um, but, you know, if that's the worst thing that happened, then it's not that bad. Uh, but yeah, there was no fancy rope kills, no dumbbell kills. It's quite busy in this, so I was really lucky that this was free, so I could set the camera up and just get it done. But... Overall, if I'm going to get, only going to do a couple of them with biceps, it's this. I would love to get the um, like dumbbells involved if possible, but unfortunately, it just wasn't feasible uh, at the time. And then, using the rope kills, now you can see here it's moving a little bit differently because the platform is actually higher up than where I'm standing, which gives me a bit more range of motion because I'm a taller person. So, I just want to do some rope extensions just to, you know, I find that, that if I'm going to do one movement for a tricep, it's going to be rope because it just feels a lot more uh, impactful but yeah overall short but sharp session but still put a lot of effort into it so so this is a bit of a weird one uh i am well it's the morning after i'm currently on my treadmill doing my morning steps so i do like 10 minutes after breakfast uh, just to help keep you know hashtag vertical diet hashtag stay vertical just helps with digestion I find and feeling less bloated so if you can hear that or you're wondering why I'm pacing back and forth in a really weird way that's why I'm going to try and keep this sort and sweet also check out the uh, the nerd uh, cabinet there with all my collector's items from games over the years uh, <laughs> um, but yeah yesterday's session was a really quick one uh, I haven't done a session like that for a long time it felt quite good in a way um, it was, as you saw, two machines. 
with the Precia, with dual arm and single arm, and then we had the rope extensions, and that was it. I really liked that rope extension though. I think, like I said in the video, like because it's lower, the floor is lower on it, um, because the cage like, uh, is on like the platform there, all the stuff is on, is raised up, and that one hangs off the end a little bit. So it means that I can get, as a taller individual, I get more sort of range of motion on the pull, which is great. But like, I, I can't complain with that. So I think going forward, I'm doing arms and new fit. That might be the station to stay on for triceps anyway. Um, for everything else though, like yeah, it felt good. Uh, afterwards, went to Cardiff to the moon to watch the Don't Try play. Like I said in the car, I had never heard of this band before, but when Rich said that tickets were nine pounds, he went, you know what? Like, I'm all for local hardcore shows, especially if they're cheap. Solid bit of fun. And honestly, they were incredible. Um, they're from Quebec. Uh, Don't Try QC is their Instagram. Go check them out. Really good fun. Really good show. Uh, there was a couple of really good support acts as well. Uh, one that caught me off guard was a band called uh, Only Fools and Corpses, which gave me really like early the banner vibes. If anyone knows who they are, it was class. And then, ah, oh, there was DOL. I can't remember what that stands for, sorry. Um, yeah, I can't remember. I'll, I'm sure I'll correct myself in the next video. They were just tough. And the opening act weren't my cup of tea, not my style of hardcore. And for the life of me, I can't remember, but again, I will. Like, hardcore band names are getting harder and harder to remember. Ah, uh, remember the days of just like one syllable or two syllables at most. <laughs> um, but no, it was a really, really good show. And I'm hoping I can find more gigs like that to go to. Because when I was younger, I never, I used to go to shows all the time until I was like 22. And then it took about four years of not going to gigs and then started going to shows again. And it'd be, it'd be like sporadic, like one or two gigs, big shows, but not like the smaller ones. I feel like I missed out on a lot of them. Um, but also my favorite band announced a UK tour yesterday to the Acacia Strain are doing four dates in the UK and I am extremely tempted to go to all four so yeah that could be happening um also found out that American football are doing a set in uh Bristol in September that's pretty sick sorry this has become a bit more of a music talk than a fitness talk but yeah uh but yeah that's pretty much it for for today, my arm's starting to hurt holding this. Actually, oh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, overall, yes, there was a really interesting session. And I guess it goes down to like just making it fit where you can. Like, you're not gonna have the perfect time to train every day. Like, I didn't get my cardio in yesterday, this morning I have, and I'm literally doing more now. Uh, but something is better than nothing. So, if you look at it and you go, cool, I've got an hour. And that is it. I can I can definitely do stuff in that hour. Go and do it. Don't use it as an excuse to not do something. It would have been very easy for me just to not go in yesterday. So I didn't get into the gym until, what, 10 past six? After warming up for 10 minutes and getting changed and all that, you're looking up 25 past. I, I was never going to have time to do training and cardio. But I got what I needed to done. So, yeah. Overall, I'm happy with what happened. Uh, so yeah, for those of you that are resting, rest up. If you're training, go hard. Go harder than I can go on chest. Still waiting for the results. Regardless of what you do, take your multi and lift heavy. And I'll see you in the next one.